different background alert. What's up guys? Hope this background isn't too weird for you. Kaylee and I are on location. I'm shooting her, so there's a bit of a different setup today, but it's getting to be the middle of March, beginning of March, and I might as well be showing you my March pickups. But there's some awesome stuff to share with you guys from the month of February. You know how it goes, my favorite clothing, things I've made, everything like that, and then movies and what I've been listening to. So let's go ahead and do it. February just flew by after January was about the most eternal thing of all time, if that makes sense. School was picking up, all of that, I don't even know what happened, but both of them were in the best way possible. Like January was so long and so many amazing things, and then February was like a hardcore work month, that sort of thing. But it is the beginning of March now, and I need to get this video going for you. And let's see, you guys know that we like to start with the clothing. Not a lot of purchases, but some interesting things going on. The one item that I did purchase, I don't even actually know if I bought this in February, but I got it in February and you haven't seen it. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous Dries shirt. Let's see if you can see that on camera. It has this beautiful embroidery that is on top of this harness. Oh, wow, that is a movie I should talk about. That's fairly new that I watched in February. The Dries documentary. We'll get there though. It shows his knack for embroidery and all of that. Has a really cool harness going on. Beautiful, light, forest green material. Almost sheer if you guys can see through that right now at me. I can see through it uh, out the window that's behind you guys. But just a gorgeous shirt. This is, I wanna say a size 48. Yeah, which is about a size medium, slim fit, gonna be beautiful for the spring even though it's a darker color, but just the material, the way it sits. I love to roll up the sleeves, which I believe they did in the runway show. I'll get pictures of that for you guys, but that is an item that I somehow, in one way or another, got in February and actually purchased. I guess another one in that realm that I should mention are these pants right here. I talked about them with you guys in February but I got them a while back and these are just 505s, Levi's. You can check that out. You can check that video out if you're interested. Turned out amazing. Wore these so much in February, wearing them so much now. Just a beautiful, beautiful pair of jeans. Filming the try-ons right now and I of course forgot one of my favorite things that I bought in February and that's this top right here. This is from May the Circle Be Unbroken, one of my favorite raft collections, Spring Summer 04. I've talked about it a million times with you. So if you haven't heard about it via me, just go look it up and maybe it'll be interesting to you. But this is a gray, sun bleached, sun bleached or washed top, long sleeve t-shirt. Has a little cut right here around the neck that opens it up. And this is a size 50. One of the things that I do wanna talk about is sizing. For this collection, everything fits so, so small. I have one top that is a 48 and it is so small on me. Got this in a 50 thinking it'd be a bit better and it is even slimmer. It's really cool and really full of attitude because it is so small, but it isn't really exactly what I wanted. And with this cut collar, it opens it up so wide and is really like a true open neck or wide necked t-shirt or something like that. But as far as that very elegant, pure collection goes, I think this is a little bit harsher, a little bit grittier. I was thinking like Mad Max Fury Road when I was thinking of this guy. And it's still a beautiful top. It's just a bit small on me and it's definitely one of my favorite things from February. So I had to film it for you guys right here. But the rest of the stuff is sort of things that I made in one way or another. You guys know I thrifted that awesome belt that was just like a Yoji Yamamoto belt that I really wanted to buy in Vienna when I saw it. But that shit was like $400. The thrifted one is starting to fall apart, but it's almost the exact same thing. They were both one inch wide belts with a horseshoe buckle and a silver belt tip. So I haven't found a belt tip to fill to fit this, it has been impossible finding silver belt tips. Someone help me out. Maybe I'll need to forge one myself. But I made this guy a little bit thicker, plain black belt. It is pretty much just cut leather, beveled the edges, hand dyed. I guess all of the other things I just stated were hand done. And it's really awesome because you can repair this, you can swap the buckle. It's so easy to customize these, add stuff to it, repair them, give them a long life. And yeah, it's really pretty. There you go. That's all you need to say. The other thing was, I don't have it all with me, but just all the Stadtsballet stuff that Kaylee was working so hard shipping to me. 
because of course Kaylee and I didn't get our stuff until all you guys got yours, which by the way has been incredible. I feel like I've been talking for like six, sen six sentences without a breath, which has been incredible because all of your guys' pictures with the inferno flares and the slim pants and the scarves and just everything has been so cool to see, the work shirts. I'm um, seeing your guys' style and wearing it and whatever. Just keep those pictures coming because it's really cool to see our clothing, this tangible product finally in your wardrobes, uh, helping you guys express yourselves, whatever. And these two pairs are the most recent ones that I got from her. These being the Inferno Flares, gorgeous Italian wool with this insane plaid. We actually got this material second hand and were able to bring it back to life in most likely a way that whoever originally milled this textile was not expecting. Um, high rise, flared pant, fairly slim straight in the leg and then flares down underneath the knee, gorgeous. Same exact fit, but this is with the material that is on all the rest of our suiting, that double breasted coat, slim pants, which I also got in February, so I might as well mention those, which have the same waist, very similar rise, and then it is just a narrow, slim straight leg that gives me about half an inch or an inch in the thigh, which is just absolutely gorgeous. That's exactly what I want out of those pants. And then sits right atop my shoe, I also might as well give an honorable mention to the stuff you guys really haven't seen on this channel, which is the work shirt, the shirt, the sweatpants. I've gone on and on about them on social media and posting pictures, but you haven't seen them here. And I honestly think I do have them with me out in the car. I have the work shirt and then I'm sharing the shirt with Kaylee while we're here to save on wardrobe space. There you go, those are the clothes from the month of February, some that I made in the past, some that I bought in the past, and they finally got delivered. So here we are, now let's talk about some movies. I'm really glad that Dries shirt and the embroidery reminded me to bring up that Dries Van Noten documentary for you. That was really the only new-ish movie that I saw. I didn't go to the theaters at all or anything like that. It was just such a busy, fast passing month, it was insane. But that documentary came out in 2017 and it hit Netflix in January. I got around to watching it last month, I should say, in February and it's really cool. Great balance between menswear and womenswear. If you aren't familiar with anything from planning runway shows to shooting different looks, preparing for them, choosing fabric, whatever, how the whole team thinks, it's a really, really awesome, calming, sweet documentary. The whole team's so cute and it's really interesting hearing about how they approach um, different things, whether it is like a fabric feeling too. I don't know, you guys will have to see it. I was surprised by how down to earth it was or how relatable it seemed, but also like their house and their garden and whatever, how their stuff is embroidered and oh my goodness. As for an old movie, I finally got around to watching No Country for Old Men which was incredible, that's a Coen Brothers movie. And I feel like I shouldn't even talk about it because a lot of you have probably seen it. If not, don't even watch the trailer, just watch the movie, go into it blind, uh, you'll enjoy it. It's, I don't wanna say that, but you'll probably enjoy it if you like similar things to me. Um, incredible, incredible. And finally, because I need to get back to work, we are finishing up with some music. So I'm gonna let you guys go with my favorite tracks, starting with the ones that actually released in February, and then moving on to some others from the past that I have just been listening to recently, maybe while I was studying, or did I travel at all? Did I go to New York? I don't really know. Such a blur. That's it, enjoy these tracks and this music. Hopefully it could turn you on to something good or give us something to chat about down in the description. And that's it, everyone do me one last favor. Have a good day for me. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Searching for a reason Breathing in the dark Nurse Lean on the phone Said hi boy bro, it's the time